guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we'll be getting started with installing dart so that we can write our program in dart programming language so in, you can just go to your favorite search engine and search dart sdk and the first result which you get is this dart.dev and get the dart sdk so click on that and there you'll uh, find a downloads page where you can download so here as we can see we got something like windows linux and max but this is not how we are going to install using this choco it's actually kind of a command line tool but we won't be doing that rather we'll be downloading it as a zip file and then installing it so just click this link over here just as i've clicked right now so here we have some kind of channels over here as you can see stable channel beta channel and dev channel we will be using the stable channel so depending on your system architecture you can uh, choose between 32 or 64 my computer is 64 bit so i'll be using the 64 bit so click on the dot sdk or kind of text and then it will start downloading so i have actually downloaded it so it's around 209 mb i have actually downloaded it so i won't be downloading it again now coming to the installation file so here i have downloaded it now just extract it anywhere you want but i would highly suggest or recommend you that you extract it uh, extract in the C uh, local disk C so that you don't face any problems in the future because just the kind of basic uh, folder where all your programs are going to be installed so actually I have previously installed Dart SDK as you can see over here but as uh, for this video tutorial I'll be installing it again but not in the same folder rather in another folder so just click on the zip file and try to extract it so here we got extract files and extract here so as I'm, i will be extracting in this folder so, so guys extract now the extraction has you been guys done. please extract now open in the, the folder folder local and you can see C. some files and folders so directly that. no need to go to program here files in that folder and again so live directly open c drive and extract things. it there now the important thing which we want now is the bin folder so it has all these things as you can see 429 mb so just click on this and here on the title where you can see navigation bar here you just double click on this and you'll get the link or the location so just copy that thing so guys for saving it into the path you must just open control panel as i have opened it right now over here and go to system and security here as we can see just go to the systems menu and here we'll find all the information about the current system and here you must go to advanced system settings over here so click on that and there will be a pop-up dialog box where you'll have more options so in this search for environment variables so here we have that box environment variables so it is in the advanced tab and environment variables so open that thing and here we can see that we have kind of options over here see path so this path thing is very main main thing for installation so here you must add dart sdk so click new and add it so as i have previously uh, said that i have installed it it is already added to my path now if i again add it to the path, it may cause some problems so i won't be doing that but please be do uh, please do that in your system so that you can at least run dart programs right okay so now we are actually now adding the path as i have told you the first one the user variables we are adding it to only to the current user who is using this if you want to add it to the system you can even add it here in the below bar also so here we see system variables and here i suggest that you add it to all your users and even the system so that everyone can use it so here you can just click new add and after you add them and click ok just again click ok over here and it will change save the changes and click ok and finish that's it guys this is how we install dart sdk or dart vm install in our system now one more main thing which we need is an ide so we'll be using visual studio code so visual studio code is a very popular uh, ide guys it's very lightweight also even you should, even if your system doesn't have proper specs or very low specs for that you can just use this ide it is very kind of small mb size it's the size is very small runs very fast no problems no issues with that editor so this is even by microsoft so just search for vs code so vs code download for windows depending on your operating system you can download it so here we get this website called download visual studio mac linux or windows just click on this so when you click on this you will be getting a pop up like windows mac or just click on this blue button windows and it will start downloading and guys i will not be showing the windows install uh, this vs code installation because i have already installed it 
uh, rather i'll just tell you that the sim installation is also not very complex it's very simple so what you need to do is that just click on this and run the uh, exe file or the system installer file and that time it will ask you just agree with the license and just continue and when it asks for additional tasks select all of them and continue it will install it there's nothing much complicated in that that's why i won't be showing it and so after you install we'll be opening visual studio code and we'll configure it so that we can write that code in that so guys when you in completely installed visual studio code it might be looking somewhat like this so actually I have a dark theme you can add uh, whatever theme you like for me it may be you like a light color theme or somewhat like that so after you install you will get kind of welcome page like this there after that you're just going to open this extension tab over here on the left hand side so click on this extensions and here you can install extensions and the main extension which we need is called as dart so click dart or type dart inside the search box and we'll get the first result so the dart this one we must install dart language support for and debugger for visual studio code and this is by dart code so these are the kind of te uh, team in google who developed dart so they have developed this plugin also so you can install this and probably after you install it will ask you to restart your ide so just click on that restart or reload button and it will automatically do it for you so after that we are completely set up and we can run dart program so guys if you're facing any issues just go to command line so here i'll be opening the internal terminal in this as you can see over here terminal just click over here and a new terminal just open a new terminal so it will open a new terminal vs code has an inbuilt terminal guys so here you can open any kind of terminal so here you can even choose if you want to use bash or anything like that i'll be temporarily using command prompt i even have git bash powershell you can use whatever your favorite one is so here to check if dart is properly installed you can just type dart dash dash version d e r s i o n and press enter and if the installation was successful you will get dart vm version and other stuff so guys if you get the successful message we are completely done with installing dart and an ide in the next video we'll be getting started with programming in dart so please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Thanks for watching.